Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you one trick. No, I'm just kidding. There's not just one trick. Um, but in this video, I'm going to show you five tricks uh, that I still use to this day to be better and faster at modeling. Alright, so if you actually want to follow along in this tutorial, you're going to have to change a setting uh, if you have the most recent version of Blender. Uh, what you're going to have to do is change the key mapping because I personally use 2.7x because I think it's faster. So head on over to Blender Preferences in the edit screen, all the way at the bottom, Preferences. And then under Key Map, you'll find uh, at the top the different profiles. And yeah, I get Blender 2.7x. All right, guys, number one on this list is going to be the period key on the numpad. So have you ever been trying to model something on the side of an object, but you have a hard time lining yourself up because the camera is either too fast or it just clips through things? What you're going to do to fix this problem is you're going to right click on an object that you want to edit or that you're currently editing and press period on the numpad key, remember, and that will align your camera with the active object. This is super useful for adding detail to your models. Step two is a tip that I use every single time I model, without a doubt. Um, so first thing that I gotta do is delete the default cube as one does. And I'm gonna spawn in a cylinder. Now, say you wanna make this cylinder smooth, right? The obvious thing to do would be go into your menu, type shade smooth, and if you don't know how to get to this menu, it's just spacebar. Um, and then you type what you want. And now you see this nastiness of shading. So I honestly just learned this this year, but you go down, if you have, if you have it selected, if you go down to the vertex settings and go to normals, click auto smooth, done. That easy. All right, guys, uh, this tip is gonna be super useful if you have a really crowded scene such as this one I did. Um, if you just want to model one thing, uh, and especially if you don't have like a powerful system and you can't handle a bunch of objects in one scene and it's kind of slow, this will help out as well. So what you want to do is select everything that you want to model and then hit the slash key on your keyboard. And what that's going to do is it's going to isolate absolutely everything except for what you want to model. And this helps you get right into the details um, and you don't have to worry about messing up or selecting the wrong thing. All right, guys, uh, in this tip, I'm going to show you how to uh, basically snap objects together or align things. Um, say you want to put this object directly in the center of this object. Now, I know you can use the align tool uh, for this but I find this is a little bit more advanced and you can play around with it a little bit more. Uh, so what you can do is uh, open the snap menu, shift S. And as you can see, it opens up a bunch of uh, possible things you can do. You can do selection to grid, which will align it to the grid, this origin point to the grid, or you can do selection to active. And active is basically the object that you have selected. So selection to active. Now, to take it further from there, say I want to put this object on top of this object. Now, if I do this, the same thing that I just did, it's just going to be in the exact center of it. So what can I do? If I change the origin in edit mode by going to cursor to selected, and then going spacebar, set origin, origin to 3D cursor, and now that it's right here, uh, by the way, this is what video game designers do all the time to model walls and stuff. Um, they select, select like an offset uh, is basically what we're doing. Now we go into the object we want to snap it to. Go here. Go to the top left because we selected the bottom left. Um, go Shift S, cursor to selected. And then what you're going to do is go shift s and cursor or sorry selection to cursor boom done tip number 5 don't be this guy 
there's an easier way of lining a camera and I'm going to show you here. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit zero on the numpad, which will take you into uh, camera view. And all you have to do is hit shift F and move your camera around with the mouse and WASD keys. You can also adjust the height by pressing Q or uh, E and that will bring, uh, E brings it up, Q brings it down and you can just get a nice and precise uh, frame. This is very useful when you have um, lots of things going on and you just want to subject one item. Hey guys, uh, that's all I got for you today. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, it shows me that you like these kind of style of videos. Um, I normally just do speed models and if you like the video, I'll make more of these kind of videos, tutorials. Uh, I find that uh, the videos at least I've watched when I was learning Blender don't show the little uh, shortcuts to um, navigating this beast of a software. Um, but once you do uh, master these kind of uh, concepts, Blender becomes much more fun and enjoyable to use uh, instead of awkward and annoying. Uh, anyways, have a great rest of your day.